Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. So my Good. name is Cohen Lucero. I am the president of Team End Racism. Would you like to introduce yourself? Of course I would. Good morning, Cohen. I'm so excited to meet you. My name is Charnay Gordon, and I am the author of A Kid's Book About Diversity. Would you like me to ask you some questions? Absolutely. Where do you think diversity is the most important? Wow, what a great question, Cohen. I think diversity... <sighs> The most important, um, I would say, I mean, it's so important just for your overall life, right? In your friendship circles, at your school, in your community, in your neighborhood where you live. Um, where else could you think of? Um, just in your, just in your everyday, in your everyday life. I, I can't necessarily pinpoint one place, but I think all of those places are important to have diversity. Would you yeah. agree? Yeah, what I, do you think? Think so. I think so too, like everywhere. Everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah not, not just one place. I think everywhere. I think it's such a beautiful thing to be able to look out into the world, no matter where you are and see this beautiful array of all of these different people that just, you know, have different skin tones, different faiths, different religions, different backgrounds. I think it's just such a beautiful thing. What was the most challenging part about writing a book? And do you have a favorite page? I think the most challenging part about writing the book was just really trying to make sure that you're getting your message across. You know, you have an idea in your head of what you hope people take away from the book, but I think sometimes it's a challenge trying to get that across to other people. But I think, you know, ultimately people are gonna interpret things in different ways. But I think the most challenging thing was just trying to make sure that what I had in my head was coming across on the page and that it's going to be received by other people in whatever way they decide to take it. Oh, a favorite page, you asked me. Yeah, so my favorite page is pretty simple, but I love this page because it says a lot without saying too much. We can do better. We have to do better. Oh, right? yes. That is yeah. my ultimate favorite page too. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love that page so much. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, you have it. I have it too. Yeah, it's so fun. It's a very good book. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh. Do you so so your your favorite you said your favorite page is the same as my favorite page? Yeah. Do you like any other pages? Yeah. They also like this page. Oh, yes. This is what makes us special. Like, like diversity makes us us and all around us. Now it's gonna be a pretty big part of my mission because sharing experiences is and sharing traditions. It's like who can not miss out on diversity, people, That's right. all different kinds of people, Hispanic, white, black, black, tan, whatever, <laughs> everything is diverse. Everything. <laughs> I love you, Cohen. This is so fun. Here's a fun question. Okay. You could jump inside any pages of a book, of any book, what, what book would you choose? Oh, what a great Bye. question. You know, I would choose probably my childhood favorite book, which is this one right here, Corduroy by Don Freeman. And I love this book so much because of the little girl that's in here. Her name is Lisa. And 
I kind of still see Lisa as being me when I was maybe seven or eight years old. And it was, this was one of the few books that I had as a child that showcased a little black girl that wore her hair like I did. I used to wear my hair in a ponytail like she did and uh, lived in an apartment, right? And um, she wanted this toy, she wanted this bear called Corduroy. And Lisa reminds me so much of my younger self. And here's, here's Lisa. Have you ever seen the book, the book Corduroy before? No, but it sounds interesting. Have it. You have to read it. This is one of, uh, this is a classic, but that's Lisa and that's Corduroy. Oh, that but yeah, Lisa, she, she reminds me of myself. And so if I could jump into any book, I would want to jump into Corduroy and be Lisa, actually be her, be her character. I think that would be so fun. Do you think diversity can change someone? I think it can, especially if that person grew up or, you know, believes certain things, like maybe believes that we shouldn't have diversity. But I do think that it definitely can change people. It can change their hearts. It can change their minds. And, you know, really just trying to be more open and more accepting of different people, no matter what they look like or no matter what they believe in. You don't always have to agree with everything that a person says or does, but I do think it's not too much to ask to just be kind and, and be accepting. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, so I understand that you are, are you raising money to get diverse books into schools across is it just the united states or is it across the world what are you what are you doing with your team and racism oh we are doing a lot of things so we're trying to get money to donate diverse books to to schools and then we're also trying to get like around the world Wait, Mom. Sure. because around the world. We want to end racism everywhere. So, so we're starting so, in Washington. Yeah, huh? we're starting in Washington. And then we're, we're going to try to go all the, all around the world, like numerous places in the USA. That is amazing. That is amazing. How old are you, Colin? Uh, eight and a half, turning nine in two weeks on June 21st. Wow, that's so special. My kids, my daughter is eight and my son is seven, so cool. very close in age. Oh, yes. Would you like to know my rules? Yes, absolutely. I had, I added a fourth rule because I used to have three that I do most. Okay. So number one, smile at everyone. Number yes. Two, support Black-owned businesses. And three, learn and educate on Black history. And four, look around, see diversity, share experiences. I love those rules. Do you have a, an address on your website where people can send books? www.teamandracism.org. Yeah, you can donate money on the website. Okay. And you, you can buy a shirt too. Okay. That, that and it says team and racism with my face at the bottom of it. it. Also shares a lot about me and how it started. Do you do you want to be part of my team? Wow. What do I have? What do I? What do I? If I want to, what do I have to do in order to be a part of your team? Try to do anything that can help stop racism. Probably share about me and my team and probably Absolutely. buy from diverse businesses that can, uh, like black owned businesses. Okay. Well, consider me a part of your team. Yeah. And we follow you on Instagram. You do? 
<laughs> Thank you. I follow you too. Thank you for your time spending. Of course. Thank you for your time, Cohen. This is so fun. Everyone, check out a kid's book about diversity. Yeah, it is the best book ever. Goodbye. Bye.